a woman uh, from uh, my team is now in Bila Tserkva, and she is there with two kids, and uh, Russian military is over there, and she is so much afraid that she will be shot. Kharkiv, the city where I was studying, was bombarded today, fully, the downtown square. So you're talking about the stoicism of Ukrainian people, but Ukrainian women and Ukrainian children are in deep fear because of bombs and missiles which are going from the sky. And Ukrainian people are desperately asking for the West to protect our sky. We are asking for the no-fly zone. We are saying in response that it will trigger World War III. But what is the alternative, Mr. Prime Minister? To observe how our children are, instead of, mis instead of uh, planes, are protecting NATO from the missiles and bombs? What's the alternative for the no-fly zone? We have planes here, we have air defense system in Poland, in Romania. NATO has this air defense. At least this air defense could shield the Western Ukraine so that these children with women could come to the border. It's impossible now to cross the border. There are 30 kilometers of lines. Imagine crossing the border with a baby or with two children. I'm so glad that Samantha Power is coming here to the border from the Polish side. Let her come to the border from the Ukrainian side and see that. Britain guaranteed our security under Budapest memorandum. So you are coming to Poland. You are not coming to Kiev, Prime Minister. You are not coming to Lviv. Because you are afraid. Because NATO is not willing to defend. Because NATO is afraid of the World War III. But it is already started. And these are Ukrainian children who are there taking the hit. You are talking about more sanctions, Prime Minister. But Roman Abramovich is not sanctioned. He is in London. His children are not in the bombardments. His children are there in London. Putin's children are in Netherlands, in Germany, in mansions. Where are all these mansions seized? I don't see that. I see that my family members, that my team members are saying that we are crying. We don't have where to run. Well, this is what is happening, Prime Minister. Well, thank you.